Hi, and welcome to Ancoda Cares. This video will take you through the steps for getting started with Ancoda Cares. The team will walk you through each step, and there are dividers in the video each time they move on to another step. While watching the video, you can pause and go backwards and forwards whenever you need to. I'll turn it over to the training team. You started with Ancoda Care. So as you see here, we are just on a Google screen. And because the first thing you have to do is get to Ancoda and to log in. So you're just going to put in Ancoda, A-N-K-O-T-A dot net, as it shows up there, A-N-K-O-T-A dot net. That's going to take you to a login screen. All right. So right here, I actually have this all set. I am um, where, for this scenario, the the owner of a home care agency called Alligator Caregivers has just signed up with us, and he has uh, he's going to use his email address, joe.alligator at gmail.com. And we will have sent him a temporary password as well as his organization name. And for Alligator Caregivers, that's going to be AC. So he's going to log in as you will. Um, now, if your uh, agency is called Zebra Home Care, it might be ZHC that kind of thing, but you'll you'll have all that information in the emails that you get from us. All right, so then once you log in, the first thing the system is gonna make you do is change your password. So I am doing that now. Your password is gonna say your password has changed, and then you're good to go. All right, so the next step in the process now that you're logged in is we need to have a caregiver. So I'm gonna go to caregivers, and I'm going to say that we're gonna add new, by pressing here. And our caregiver for today that we're going to add is going to be Simon Cowell. So I'm going to put in Simon Cowell. I'm not sure if I'm spelling that right from the American Idol guy uh, or America's Got Talent, whatever it is. And we're going to choose his gender. All right. So now we're going to set up uh, a login for him and to log into the mobile app and if you want to give them web access. But um, and it's going to default an ID for you. And we recommend that you use that default ID. And here I'm going to give them a temporary password. And actually, I'm just setting it to the word password because it's going to make them change it. Now, we also have the voice telephony. It also has a default ID. In this case, it's 108 as opposed to AC.108. So as you're, if you're using the telephony, you're just dialing in on the phone and you just have the, uh, the numeric keypad. So that's why it's going to be a number. And then for the PIN, we recommend that you use, um, you know, most of our customers either use the last four of the social security number or the month and day of the birthday. So that's what I put in. I'm, I'm making this person be me. My birthday is August 24th. I put in 0824 as the pin, and they'll use that if they log in on the telephony. All right, we also are gonna put in a pay rate for them. So let's say they're getting paid 12.50 per hour and we'll give them an address and the system you know just has kind of remembered my address here so i'm taking a little shortcut it's putting me at one franklin street in boston and it also happened to fill in um you know one of my emails if your if your caregiver doesn't have an email that's fine okay got it so you have your email then you have your caregiver phone number all that information is there you hit submit and now you've added your first caregiver is going to create their record in the system and take it into their record and there's other information that you could put, you know, see their schedules, set roles, associate documents with them, and things like that. But for now, we've done the basics. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. Now that we have a caregiver in the system, we're going to add a client. So we're going to go to the menu and push clients. And here I'm going to press add new. And sticking in the uh, that same TV show called America's Got Talent. We're going to create a client called uh, Heidi Klum. And we're going to give, uh, we're just going to make up a um, a client ID. So we're going to make it, uh, looks like, you know, what do we have here? 10,000. And we'll put in that uh, Heidi Klum is our customer. And she's going to be female. We're going to give her a birthday. I have no idea how old she is, but we'll make believe that she was born in around, I don't know, 1983, and uh, give her a birth date. And then I'm gonna do that same trick where it'll 
find my address and um, you know fill that in. Of course, in your case, I'm just trying to make the video go faster, but you would put in the the address, city, state, zip, uh, those types of things. Most of our our home care clients or what we see in a lot of cases that they don't have email, so we won't fill one in there. Um, also on this screen, I'm not going to fill them in, but you could uh, you could put different contacts who are associated with that person, so their family members or who referred them to you. And in case of something like a referral source, you could of course have the same referral source for multiple people. But if you're going to put their adult children, their wife, whatever the case may be, um, you could put that there. You could also add attachments. So that would be anything that you've uh, collected, let's say, on a, a piece of paper and you've scanned it and you want to attach it, you could do that. I'm going to skip all those things and jump right into creating their record. So as you see here, now we have a full record for Heidi Klum and it has these other tabs that we could start uh, working with. All right, so um, next thing we will do here is we'll set up a care plan for Heidi. And uh, so I'm going to the care plans tab. I'm going to say we want a new care plan and I'm going to name it the Heidi plan. And I'm gonna hit, um, you know, go ahead and enter this. You don't have to worry about any of these other settings on the screen because it's there's no expiration date or anything like that. So we're good to go. And so here it'll create the plan for Heidi, but now we need to put the tasks on the, on the plan. So I'm clicking on the Heidi plan and we have to decide, you know, what tasks are we gonna help Heidi with? And uh, Ancoda Cares comes with this exact predefined list, but if you want to uh, change that, that was part of your, your form that you filled out. But let's say we're going to help Heidi with dressing, grooming, toileting, we're going to do meals and dishes, and we're going to do the laundry. And at this point, that's all you need to do to have their care plan items set to them. You do have other settings, how many days per week, additional notes, um, things like that. But without further ado, we'll move on to the next step. So we've added our first caregiver, we've added our first client, and now we're going to uh, schedule some visits for that client. And most of our customers like to schedule right here on the calendar. So I've clicked on the calendar, and here we are um, making this video on July 10th. So I'm going to click here on July 10th and say that our first visit's going to be today. So it's Heidi Klum and we're going to make a private pay visit because that's what the default configuration is. Let's say we're going to do this for two hours and 30 minutes, and that visit's going to start at um, 4.45 p.m. Okay, so it knows it's going to finish at 7.15, so that's all set for us. <clears throat> and so next we're going to go, and we're going to say this is going to be scheduled, and we're going to assign it to our caregiver. We only have the one right now, Simon Cowell. And this next step is, you know, if I if I created a visit now, we would have this one visit for Heidi, which would be great. But in general, in home care, we have repeated visits. So I'm going to say that we're going to do this visit, not just this one time, but we're going to say that it's going to be every, uh, let's say, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at these times. And what most of our private pay agencies do is they schedule through the end of the year. So I'm just going to go out through December 31st and get that scheduled. Now I'll say create the visit. And so this is going to churn for a couple of seconds and it's going to create you know, all those visits on our calendar between uh, this date on the 10th of July and the end of the year. And here, of course, we see all the visits that are created uh, through the end of July. And actually, if we went out to the next month, it, we have those visits out through the end of the year. So we're good to go there. Okay, so our next step is to show the clock in and the clock out as the caregiver. I'm going to take us to a different screen to show that. So I'm going to go under scheduling and I'm going to go to the caregiver schedule board. Okay, so now we're looking at our schedule board and it's not that exciting for right now. We just have two and a half hours scheduled for this week. We could look out you know, to next week and see what that looks like. And now we'll see the three visits for next week, but now we'll come back to today. And it just has, uh, when you have more caregivers, it'll show all of your caregivers here on the left. It'll show your days of the week up top and everything that's scheduled. And so now we're ready to clock in as our caregiver, uh, Simon Cowell. And I'm gonna, to show that, I'm gonna bring the mobile app uh, onto the screen. So here I'm actually on my live Android phone. I'm gonna type from there. We're going to put in there the login that was set up, which was going to be AC.108. 
and I'm going to put in the, the fake password, which was, or the temporary password, which was password. And as soon as I log in, it's going to make me change my password. So I'll go, you know, here and I'll type in uh, password. Okay, so now that I've changed my password, I'm all set here and I'm on the main menu of your uh, mobile app screen. And I can actually drive that from my phone here. Uh, as my caregiver, I'm going to go to the calendar and I'll see all my future scheduled visits with Heidi Klum. So I'll go back from there. But now I really just want to clock into the visit for today. So um, I see the Heidi Klum visit. I can press on see details. It gives me the phone number and the ability to get uh, turn by turn Google Maps directions and that. And now I'm going to report the arrival by pressing report arrival. And it tells me my arrival time. And based on that, it's going to calculate what my expected departure time is. And I'll say okay. And at this point, I'm all set and all cocked in. I can go back to my home screen. And if I go here to the schedule board, uh, the visit is going to update itself from this light green color to a blue color. And the status will say that it's arrived. We cocked in a, a while back and we wanted to leave enough time that it would be a billable visit. There's lots of settings in the system, but the default is round to the nearest 15 minutes. So I wanted to wait <clears throat> a little bit. So if I go in as Simon now um, to, and I could just drive this on the phone, of course, is I'm going into Simon and I'm saying, let's report our departure <clears throat> from our visit with Heidi Klum. And 5.38 is our current time. We've been there 41 minutes. And given that we were scheduled for two and a half hours, we're getting this message that says, hey, you're not expected to depart until 727. If you'd like to complete your fully scheduled time, cock out in an hour and 48 minutes, but I'm gonna blow right past that and say, that's great. Um, we're gonna say that we did the dressing and grooming, the laundry was not needed today, did the meals and dishes, did the toileting, I save that. This next screen is um, that has the ability for you to capture signatures if you want to capture signatures, but uh, it's set up here right now not to have signatures, but the caregiver could put notes in. And today was a great day with Heidi Klum. So one of the features that caregivers like is that they could speak those notes into the system as well as um, <clears throat> as well as uh, typing them in. So anyway, now we've closed our visit and that's gonna get uh, closed out in the back end and we're, we're all set with our mobile app. But if I go back to the schedule screen here, we're gonna see that this visit now in blue starting at 457 is going to update and it's gonna say, great, uh, you know, it finished at 540 and now it's in this green color and everything is good with the visit. By the way, on this magnifying glass, if we push that, we'll get the details. And we will see that we were, um, you know, that they cocked in at 457, cocked out at 540. Uh, we see the note, great day with Heidi Klum. We see how much billable time and payable time. We see that it's different from the schedule time. If you want a warning about that, we could, we could uh, give you that warning. Looks like we do have that warning here. And that type of thing. If we want to see the locations, we could do that right here and say uh, it'll actually refresh the screen and we could see you know where we cocked in and where we cocked out. And uh, <clears throat> so it looks like the the visit address was expected here. It came out a little bit off, which is just um, the nature of of GPS is often a little tiny bit off, but um, that's the the situation there. So at this point, we're all good. We have our visit. And the way that we have Ancoda Cares configured, you don't even need to run billing. Um, it's just that you would have a billable invoice is going to be there for you. So if I go into the billing, say, give me a billing report. And OK, so now here we are on our billing screen. And we just click there under billing. We went to the billing report. And you don't even need to run your billing. It just creates an invoice for you. So here in this case, it shows that we had a visit uh, on Friday the 10th for private pay, Simon Cowell. And these were the, the times. This is the billable amount. And that is it. So there's a whole lot more that 
is on the screen. You know, we haven't covered reports or a lot of other scheduling features and things like that. And then there's a lot more features that can be configured into your ANCOTA CARES environment. You just need to reach out to the support team and tell them what you need, <clears throat> and they'll take care of that for you. But we really wanted to just give you a quick overview of how to get started. And so what we did was we put in our first caregiver, our first client, our first schedule, our first care plan. We cocked in for our first visit and uh, cocked out and created an invoice. So thank you and have a great day.